Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us this evening for this webinar which is aimed at teachers of the senior cycle computer science curriculum. This evening we will be demonstrating how to analyse text with Python and we'll be drawing your attention to some of the resources hosted on the newly created Novel Analytics website. NovelAnalytics.ie hosts clean data, classroom worksheets, slide presentations and assessments relating to three novels, Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein and Bram Stoker's Dracula. This project has been generously funded by Science Foundation Ireland at the Insight SFI Research Centre for Data Analytics at UCD. My name is Maria Mulvaney and I'm a lecturer at the Centre for Cultural Analytics and a member of the School of English Drama and Film and affiliated with Insight. In terms of the format this evening, we will begin with a brief introduction to our novel analytics project, and I will then hand over to my colleague Owen Cunningham, who is a researcher at Insight also, who will take us through the worksheets and notebooks on the website in much more detail. And then he will hand over to Anya Rourke, who is a fellow computer science teacher, and she will briefly discuss her experience of using these worksheets in her classroom so far and how you can adapt her slides and assessments for use in yours. Just a note to say that this webinar will be recorded and will be made available on our website afterwards. In addition to Owen and Anya, we are also joined by some of my fellow Novel Analytics Project team members, Dr. Derek Green, who is Associate Professor and Funded Investigator at the Insight SFI Research Centre for Data Analytics at UCD. Derek has developed the code and has created the worksheets available on the website and he will be gathering and responding to your questions using the chat function. So please feel free to add if you have any questions. So just to briefly provide some research context for the Novel Analytics project. Derek and I have been working alongside Professor Geraldine Meany and Dr. Karen Wade and an ever expanding team at the Centre for uh, Cultural Analytics and Insight in UCD for several years now on a range of digital projects, uh, digital humanities projects, which have brought together methodologies from computer science and the humanities in order to explore what computational methods can bring to our study and understanding of large scale literary data sets, and in this way to generate new research insights. Novel Analytics is a pilot project that emerged from a desire to adapt some of our existing research data that we had created as part of previously funded projects for broader educational purposes and for use in the secondary school classroom. It also emerged from conversations within our team with Anya, who, like many people teaching the curriculum, are always in search for new and interesting ways to engage their students. We wanted to demonstrate how computer science methods can be successfully combined with humanities based approaches to study cultural objects more broadly and to encourage wider participation and uptake of CS. The materials on the Novel Analytics website, the code, the character dictionaries, the annotated texts and the metadata for these three well-known novels have, has been adapted from the Nation Gender Genre Project, which was an interdisciplinary project that performed a social network analysis of a selection of Irish and British texts published between 1800 and 1922. The project was led by Professor Geraldine Meany, and involved the manual annotation of individual text by hand in order to generate visualizations and accurate depictions of the interactions of the characters in these novels. And it used these to assess the role of gender, genre, and the nationality of the author, or indeed the setting, in shaping the social networks and the social worlds of these fictional texts. In doing so, we were interested in exploring the extent to which the social networks mapped out by the interactions between these characters in Irish and British fiction differed from one another, and whether these fictional social networks differed substantially based on gender or the genre in which the author was writing. Our combination of digital and critical methodologies offered a way of researching the development of the novel in this time period. And so this is really the research context out of which this code was produced and the details, uh, the character dictionaries and the metadata, which um, lists and contains, uh, I suppose, really rich insights into the socioeconomic depiction of the characters, their family status, and lots of really interesting um, aspects of the text that might not readily be something that would be focused on by performing just a simple reading of it. 
We hope you will find these uh, teaching resources useful and use them to effectively show how student, uh, students how to use Python to analyze, quantify and visualize the novel data using these out of copyright texts. Okay, so just in terms of the website, um, you'll see here on the screen that I have um, just some screenshots from the homepage. Um, across the top, we have six tabs. And if you look at the third tab, teachers, there will be a link where you can download all of the files that you need in one location on that teacher page. Um, so we've also uploaded, if you scroll down, assessments and PowerPoints that have been created by On Your Work. Um, and she's created those so that you can adapt and remix them for your own classrooms. So you'll find all the materials that you need here, the slide decks um, and, and the some assessments that you can perhaps give for homework. Um, and all of these combined will help you to run this module successfully in your classroom. And so to download uh, the full teacher version of the files, you can just click um, where it says just up at there. I've just highlighted it to download the full version. You just click um, that link. And when you do so, this will bring you to a downloadable zip file, which contains all of the content uh, that you need. We're divided into five subcategories, which are listed as follows. So you have the data, the data files for each of the three novels, Frankenstein, Pride and Prejudice and Dracula. For each novel, we have provided the full clean text of the novel as a text file, a dictionary of characters and some general information about the novel as metadata. Secondly, we have a PDF list versions for each worksheet with one file per worksheet. We have the notebooks, uh, a Python and a Jupyter notebook for each and Owen will talk to you more in more detail about that in a moment. Um, we also have HTML versions of the notebooks and solutions and scripts. So we have Python script file versions of the notebooks and solutions also. So under the teachers tab is where you'll find all of that information. And just briefly, I want to draw your attention to the student uh, page. So if you click on students, you'll be taken to um, a page that hosts the worksheets. Um, so you can click on worksheet one there and that will take you up to handling novel full text and, and go through um, all of those in more detail. And finally, just before handing over to Owen, I just want to briefly mention some resources uh, that are available to you in terms of data and also coding. So on the resources page, you will have links to uh, places where you can get other copyright free text for students to experiment on. So websites like Project Gutenberg are excellent. This hosts 70,000 free ebooks that are all available to download in a variety of formats and um, our initial um, explorations used a lot of these um, Gutenberg editions really effectively. We also have the Internet Archive. So there's a link there to archive.org. This is a non-profit library of millions of free books and films. And that's another place where you can explore um, texts uh, that are out of copyright and available for um, examination. Owen has also helpfully provided coding resources in the forms in the form of links to matplotlib and Rejexer, which he will return to. But for now, I'm going to hand you over to Owen Cunningham, who will go through the notebooks and worksheets in more, more detail. We'll then move on to Anya for a brief discussion of her experience of using this material in her classroom and the different directions that you can take it in. We'll later have a Q&A, um, which will not be recorded, but we really encourage you to send us any questions that you might have. And now I will hand over to Owen.